Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll show you how to set up Instagram automation DMs. I'm actually really excited for this video because you guys have probably all seen a creator do this where they basically have a story or a reel or any type of post. In that post, they're like, DM me this keyword and I'll send you blank, right? You guys have seen this. I always wondered how do they actually do this because there's no way they're actually going in manually responding to everyone and sending them whatever they're sending. Well, I was in fact correct because they are actually using software to automate this. It's a very, very effective tool. I personally, use it within my business. And it basically allows you to communicate with a lot more people than you would be able to by yourself. And so yeah, in this video, I'll show you guys how to actually set this up using a platform called ManyChat. There are other ways to do this, but this is by far the most popular way. It is also extremely affordable and setting this up is also very simple as well. We'll have a link down below to ManyChat if you guys do want to follow along. I do recommend doing so because at the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up these auto DMs. Let's get started. Okay, so that link down below is going to take you to this page. And basically what we're going to do is we can learn more about ManyChat and the features that come with it. You guys can see it works in Instagram, it works in WhatsApp, and also works with Facebook Messenger. And the great thing about this is that, you know, actually messaging your clients, your prospects, your audience, it can really increase conversion rates. So let's go back up here. What we're gonna do is click get started for free. We're going to select what channel we'd like to start with. And don't worry, we can actually add other channels later on. We'll select Instagram. We're going to continue with Facebook. It's going to log in using your Facebook, which is connected to your Instagram. And then from there on, it's pretty easy. Just a quick aside, as you guys can see the pricing here, they do have a free plan. So you can engage with up to 1000 contacts free of charge, which is really, really cool. You guys can get started. They don't require a credit card, which is cool. But if you really start trying to use ManyChat, you will want to get their pro plan. They also have a premium plan, but I think for most of you guys watching this video, this one should be good enough. So here I am in my own ManyChat dashboard. What we can do is come here to automation and you guys can see here are some of the different things that I've done. Basically what we're going to do is click plus new automation right here. And as you guys can see, ManyChat comes with a lot of ready to go templates. So these are templates built by their team. And a lot of you guys, you won't need to create your own custom templates because the templates that they have here, they basically handle pretty much everything you guys are going to need to do. Unless you're trying to do something super, super custom or fancy, then likely you will find a template here that works for that situation. We can also use AI to help build our own templates, or we can start building our own templates from scratch. Right now, I want to show you guys how to use the AI to create an automation. It works pretty well. So we will click on this and you'll see we have this virtual assistant chat thingy. And what I'll say is get started. We'll describe my business. So online education. What would you like the follower to do during the chat interaction? Let's say click on a link. This could be, for example, a webinar page. So we'll select that. Just have a chat with this. Answer the questions and it's going to create this thing for you. So when we want this automation to be sent to our followers, let's say when a follower replies to my story. So it's generating this. As you guys can see, this is the workflow. So when a user replies to your story, then this happens and it's a first message. If this looks okay, we can click use this automation, but I'm just gonna go back, show you guys some of the other things that they have. We can do automated follow-ups. We can actually export their contact information to a Google sheet, which is pretty cool. We can send them a link to freebies if they respond to a post, reel, or story. And let me show you guys how to create one from scratch. So we will click start from scratch. This is the trigger. And then this is the result. We'll click on this. And this is also very simple to use. So new trigger, it seems to be the most common use for most people. So when a user, let's say comments on your post or a reel, we're going to select the publication. So it's going to look at the last things that I posted. Let's say we want to use this reel right here. And so let's say that in this video, I had a call to action saying comment DM, and I'll send you a link to my free guide on this, right? In that case, what we're going to do is select comment contains any words or specific words. This is going to be any comment at all. And this is going to be a comment that contains a specific word. So for, I think most of you guys watching this video, you'll want the specific words one. We're going to include the keyword here. So let's say DM. We can add multiple keywords too. So let's say direct message. Sometimes people don't comment the exact thing, but in this case with DM, it's very likely that they do. We can also add D space M. We can also include keywords to exclude, but for this situation, I'm just going to skip that. And then we can select whether or not we have a public auto response. So a lot of people, they do 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 this since it does add to the comment count. We can say something like sending over now. We can actually add multiple responses, right? So of course you don't want to just have one singular comment since it looks kind of weird. What I recommend doing is have maybe three to five comments. That way it just looks a little bit more natural, but of course you can turn this off if you don't want that auto response in your actual feed. In that case, it's just going to DM them without actually commenting back on that post. So we'll click save now. That means our trigger is set. And now we're going to work on the result. So we will click 
on this. So here we're going to select what to send as. So you can send as a comment reply. But for us, we're going to do within 24 hour window. So this is going to be a message. We're going to enter in the text. So we can say something like that. We can add a button to if we want. Let's do open website. We can put the URL right here. We will click done. We can also add an image. We can add a card, video, audio, whatever it is. And yeah, that's about it. This is a very basic little funnel right here. Basically one, a user comments on your post or a reel. In this case, we are going to have them comment DM or direct message or DM. We're going to auto respond within the feed. So it's going to be one of these three things. Once that happens, it's going to actually send them a direct message to their inbox. We set the text as this with a link. This button is going to go to a certain URL. That's pretty much it. So after this, what we're going to do is we can click preview. This is what it looks like, which is cool. That all looks okay. We're basically going to click set live and then it's going to actually be live on your page. We can of course click plus to add more things. So we can click next step right here. We can add another thing. For example, we can perform different actions. We can set conditions. We can set a smart delay too. This is just a very brief overview of what you guys can basically do with ManyChat. All the contacts that actually respond to you, they can be imported here into contacts. And we can also chat with everyone within live chat. So I'm gonna do one more. So let's say we wanna use Instagram stories to generate more leads. We'll click on this. We'll then click set up template. So now this is basically the trigger when a user replies to our story. It's going to send them this message. This is already pre-built out, which is pretty cool. So we'll click on this. We can actually select what story we're going to use, or you can actually have this apply to all stories if you want. This is the condition. So it contains specific words or reaction. This is likely what you guys will choose because if you choose this, then any type of reply, it's going to get that message, which is usually not good. We'll enter in the keyword right here. So let's say webinar. We'll set the delay automation. So wait X seconds. Let's say we can do 30 seconds. We can automatically like the reply on the feed if you do want. This is only available with the pro plan. So let's click save. Now we're going to come to the actual message. Let's click on this to edit this. So we can actually use their first name like that. We can change this. And then we have this little link right here. We can of course change this. And if you guys want to have another reply, you can set something like this where it waits three seconds after DMing this and it has an additional message. We can even do another one as well if you want, but I think two is good for most people. If this looks okay, we can preview it and then we can click set live when we are ready. So anyways, that is how you guys can set up a fully automated Instagram DM funnel. As you guys probably can tell, you can get quite creative with this. Really, this allows you to fully leverage your audience. You'll be able to communicate with them. They know that this is automated. They're not thinking, oh, it's you personally DMing me. And yeah, if you're not taking advantage of this, I do think it's a very great way to generate leads as well as provide value to your audience. Anyways, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you know anyone else that is looking to set up a similar system like this, feel free to share this video with them. If you guys got some value from it, please do us a favor, hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. Basically on this channel, our whole goal is to provide businesses and startups with a ton of free guides and resources. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.